What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over one of the best variants of the Assault Rifle in Fallout 76, the Anti-Armor Explosive Assault Rifle. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the Fallout 76, can you can see this? And subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary Assault Rifle that we're using for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the Anti-Armor Effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 25% to less of that's action points cost, and it also has the bullets explode for area damage. This assault rifle is actually insane, and the mods that we went with is a prime automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight circle, suppressor, and the default appearance. This is one of the more interesting commando weapons in Fallout 76 in my opinion, and if you want a good build to go along with it, I will link it in the video and in the description below. But with that being said, let's get to some demonstrations. The first monstrosity on our list for the demonstrations is the level 75 Scorched Overseer of Vault 51 that goes by the name Lenny. We're just gonna blast Lenny's face real quick, okay? Back up because if he blasts us with that laser he can easily destroy us oh god uh oh revealing my location and just like that lenny is no more let me just take out these guys real quick fantastic now let's move on to our next target the next wasteland baddie on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 parasitic a grafton monster that goes by the name charles we're just gonna shoot charles just a few hundred thousand times there we go fantastic let me just lock onto his blowholes because that is charles's sweet spot and just like that charles is no more now let's move on to our next target the next target on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name alexander there we go, and Alexander the Great is extremely terrifying looking, but he'll send absolutely no chance against our assault rifle, and just like that, Alexander the Great is no more. The next target on my list for the demonstrations is a level 100 glowing death claw that goes by the name of Brittany. We're just gonna sneak up to Brittany, that way we can get the max amount of damage out of this gun. And let me focus on her stomach, and just like that, I came out of that, and just like that, Brittany is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. The next target on my list for the demonstrations is a level 75 Scorch Beast that goes by the name Charlie, and she's harassing everyone at the White Springs, so she's got to go. And today, she is a legendary, so even better for me. Fantastic, it's probably gonna be absolute crap, but that's okay. i just take these guys down real quick, that way they don't bug me. Oh, Charlie, just come over here, that way we can blast your face. Oh god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's reload, that way we can get the maximum damage. Fantastic, okay. Let me just re heal real quick. And continue to blast her in the face. And just like that, Charlie is still alive with a slither of health. And just uh, jump up like a cool ninja guy and we'll blast her again. Fantastic. And just like that, Charlie is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. The next Wasteland Sicko on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 Myler Queen of Spruce Knob Lake. And we're just gonna start blasting her until she gets a little bit close and I'm gonna lock into her face and absolutely destroy her. And just like that, the Myler Queen is no more. And neither is this poor, poor guy right here. Let's just pray for these and this guy and this guy. Now let's just pray for these poor, poor freaks. Oh dear wise Mothman, I pray that you look after these crabby freaks in their afterlife. 